Uh, yeah. You're a congregant of that, uh, of that church. I was a visitor of the church. I went there maybe about six times. I lived in Chicago for 10 years. But the thing that I'm hearing the most, Chuck, Andrea, and Chris, is that people at that church and people in Chicago who still support Barack Obama were furious at the performance. I had one person use an old Southern term. They felt that the uh, Reverend Wright was showing out or showing off, depending on what word you like to use. And they felt that he just used his ego as an opportunity to, as one person put it, an African-American voter, a black man taking down another black man who once looked up to him. So it was a classic situation. But what I think is perhaps the problem in the future is that who has the most to lose? Is Barack Obama now taking a knife to a gunfight and that he has the presidency perhaps in the horizon and you have Reverend Wright who perhaps just wants to sell books or move on? I don't know right. what his goal or motive is, but from what we've seen, and Chris, you commented on this from what we've seen of the Reverend Wright it is very possible by by the end of this evening he's back out in front of some television camera and for all we know and you follow because you know him better than I know him. I only know him from a distance he'll just follow Barack Obama for weeks now he may never leave his trail right well you know at the church when I visited that church and as I said before this is a type of church when you move to Chicago and you're a young African-American you're often told listen there are two churches you probably need to join it's Apostolic Church on the south side of Chicago or Trinity Church also on the south side there you can meet people you can network and kind of get your feet in the water of Chicago and learn gotcha. the, the life of Chicago and that was my experience and I went I can tell you Chris I never heard this type of language I've called a dozen or more people who regularly attend this church and they say they didn't hear this type of language but the tape is out there we know it exists and we know this is the type of, of, of language that is part of the character okay. of Reverend Wright. that's where my skepticism comes in if somebody at my church Blessed Sacrament in, in, in Maryland had said God damn America. And some Sunday uh, pulpit uh, uh, experience, some sermon, the word would have been word of mouth. All you would be meeting people at Safeway, meeting them everywhere. Did you hear what the priest said on Sunday? Mm. He said, God damn America. How can the parishioners, the congregants of uh, Trinity Church, not have buzzed about that yeah, to the I point that it would have reached Michelle or Barack Obama or one of their friends? That's but the I hard part. I don't know part. how regularly, I mean, listen, it's one thing when you're running for office and to say, this is a part of my history, this is a part of my church. I don't know how regularly Barack Obama attended the church. I know that at any given Sunday, if you go to the south side of Chicago, there is a line getting in that church. You can't find yeah. a parking spot. You've got to park in the alley. This is a mainstream church, Chris. This is not from my experience. And again, living in Chicago for 10 years, I never heard anyone say, hey, you want to stay away from that? That guy's kind of crazy. That church okay. and its members are kind of crazy. Uh